my channel and if you are new, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the realities of birth because girl, I was not prepared both times. Yeah. <laughs> it is a hard lot. A lot. <laughs> I'm so tired. It's okay. <laughs> but yeah, we did do a video on Megan's channel talking about the realities of pregnancy, which a lot was going on in that video too. Like we're just kind of exposing ourselves in these videos. So uh, stay tuned. Swipe up. Good. Haven't done that in a while. Swipe up. They, that, does that mean swipe up for my video? It's no, it's not how it works. She doesn't even understand our own inside joke. No, I get it. <laughs> I'm leaving it in the past. All right. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready. Let's get into the video. I'm not ready. I wasn't ready for that. Gotta hype <laughs> yourself up. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we were filming so we could like insert that because that would have been good. Instead. Nobody knows what we're talking about, <laughs> and that makes me sad. <laughs> to fill you in, Megan's kid thinks he's a sumo wrestler. Yeah, let's just... There's stuff just on start. my phone. Just start, just start. Otherwise, we're never gonna get there. Our... We're gonna get there. First thing, <laughs> water breaking does not have to be a gush. So... In fact, it's most of the time not a gush. In fact, that's correct. The way that we're high. <laughs> it's just our personalities, guys. Just high on good old childbirth. No, life. But anyway, <laughs> we're hungry. Uh, <laughs> literally, we're tired. We're hungry. <laughs> so, uh, water gushing. Mine was not like that. Still pleased. Still excited that it was happening. And uh, yeah. My mine doesn't help this this case of like it doesn't always have to be a gush. Mine was a gush, but I was also in very active labor and I stood up and there it went. Oh no, I sat down and there it did not went. Well, you know, just a there little bit. There it tried to went. And then I, I proceeded to then stand up. Still did not went. Yeah. Oh by the way guys, I'm definitely wearing shorts. <laughs> She's not. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. That was exactly it. Then I called you. Yeah. And for a lot of times, like, even if you do get an initial, like, gush, most of the time it won't be not all loud. your water, and you can still, like, gush more. Like, when you have a contraction, you can have another gush. gushes. You can have so many gushes. And you get a gush, and you get a Birth gush. Birth a big gush until the final gush, a baby. Actually, a We'll get into it later. <laughs> but yeah, in the movies, they definitely bamboozle you with that. I thought, like, yeah, you know. It's gonna gush, and then you that's how you know you go to the hospital. Exactly. But that's, I, no. I feel like <laughs> I gushed more, like, just during pregnancy with my piss than water. Yeah. The next one is they don't always have to rush to the hospital. So you Ooh. see the movies, they're like this one in the wheelchair. Me. This one gets me. <laughs> this one gets me You're mad. Oh my god, babe. We're not yeah, no, we're I just hate it because like. Start screaming. Ah! And I'm wheeling, I'm wheeling, keep screaming. Ah! Oh my god! The baby's coming! And then the husband thinks. That's pretty much how it is. Or like. They're just like walking around, they're like big and they're pregnant and they're like, oh, no. and then they're like, <gasps> ah, I'm in labor. <laughs> like, that's not how it works. You have a gradual Maybe for some people. No, it can happen for some people. It could happen. Just but not for all. Most of the time, that's not how it's, no. it's going to work. Don't expect it. That's all we're saying. Real labor is like, wait, am I in labor? No, wait, hold on. Yeah. Labor? Yeah? No, yeah. You go to the hospital, they're like, you're not in labor. And you're oh. like, all right good to go and then you go home and then the next day you're back there and you're like later <laughs> and they're like no and then you're like all right that's just pregnancy <laughs> so yeah it's not always a scream sesh you know the next one is labor is not always a quick process i remember when i got induced with racing with my first son i was like yeah i'm having a baby today and i was like texting everybody i was so excited and then like 30 hours later um was still in labor. So it just doesn't always work out that way. 
My second labor doesn't really live up to that. I was only in labor for about five and a half hours, so like, it, it varies, but just, it doesn't always happen super fast, at least how I expected it to. Yeah, well, I mean, my labor was fast, but it could have been faster. I, I just feel like movies and TV shows, which is where a lot of people get their sort of expectations about labor, just it's just like a really horrible way to get your like, oh, this is what labor's like, because it's just so like everything's in a huge panic and they wheel you in the hospital room and then they show like, they push, push. And like most of the time when you get to the hospital, you're gonna be there a while before you have someone yeah. telling you to push. So like, yeah, there you go. Labor 101. Uh, disclaimer, we are not doctors. Just felt like I should put that out there. Nobody thought we were doctors. The next one, which I knew about, but not like exactly whenever I found out I was pregnant, wasn't like the first thing that popped up in my head, was that you do also have to birth the placenta. And that isn't just like easy peasy all of the time. It's like birthing a big gummy bear baby. Yeah, no, no, that's like a really good, it feels so yeah, good. It's, <laughs> it's amazing, highly recommend. I feel like it's it's kind of because, I mean, we both got pregnant like really early on in our lives, so we just like kind of knew about this stuff earlier than I think most people would know about it. I, I did see, especially when she posted her yeah, picture of her placenta on her Instagram, there was a lot of people who just like didn't know what the hell was going on. <laughs> and it's kind of like you don't think about that where if you haven't had a kid or like really just don't care to learn about that, it can be frightening learning what a placenta looks like. There was a lot of questions about like the placenta, like they didn't realize it came out like as one whole thing. But yeah, it's like one whole big gelatinous thing that like Most slides out of the vagina. Most of the time. I feel like we just have to put most of the time, and like yeah, after every single one of these, because everybody's like, different. Yeah, somebody's so like, no, that's exactly like, no, how no, 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 no. <laughs> The next one is, I feel like not necessarily controversial, but I feel like a lot of people won't understand unless you've actually given birth or have had this happen. And that is with my first baby. After I gave birth, you could even like go back on the footage on my birth vlog. It wasn't like, oh my God, like I wasn't like ecstatic. I wasn't crying. I was just really shocked. Like I was like, whoa. Cause obviously my body just went through a lot and trying to like recover from that and then realize that there is a freaking human being on my chest that I created. And like, I knew that for nine months going into this, but it was just very shocking. And it wasn't necessarily like instantly like, oh, it was like, wow. Yeah, I mean, my first words were, it's a baby. So <laughs> that's pretty much sums up how I was feeling. I was like, oh shit, it's a baby. So yeah, I literally felt like the exact same way. It wasn't this, I don't know, it's just wasn't, it wasn't what you think it's going to be. And I think for a lot of people can relate to this, it's just like, you are in such a strange mindset when you give birth because you're, you're Is that out of body experience? You're going through like so many intense sensations and emotions and you're in a lot of pain for a really long period of time and you just kind of like check out almost. Yeah. And so when like the time finally comes and everyone's freaking out and be like, oh my God, look down and see your baby. You're like, what the hell is going on? And you're just like so confused and there's a human being there and you're like, okay. I can't wait for your birth boy. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and not everyone actually feels that way. There are yeah. people who like, are very present and are very like immediately attached and like emotional and crying their eyes out. And that was me like second. <laughs> yeah, I wish that was me, but instead I have a really stupid face after he's born and I'm just saying it's a baby because I'm confused. <laughs> you don't get pregnant at 16. <laughs> Teen moms. <laughs> the next one is labor does not always go to plan. I remember with my first baby, I had like this whole drawn out plan. I 
literally failed at all of what I wanted, like everything. I got induced, I didn't want an epidural, I got an epidural, I wanted a water birth, I had a hospital birth, like everything that I had planned went a complete different way. And that's perfectly fine because in the end you still get your baby and don't go into it thinking that everything is going to go to plan because most of the time it doesn't. Like one thing that I would just say to people who are like trying to prepare for a birth is that if you are sitting down and making a birth plan and it's very specific and you have like so many like, I don't know, I guess expectations for how it's going to turn out, you're probably not going to have the birth that you are like completely satisfied with or like the birth experience that you wanted right. because of the fact that birth is so, you just don't know until you get there. The next one is you don't always scream in pain. Again, this kind of goes along with movies. Like you watch and they're like, ah! Like they're just freaking have flashback to them. what we just like did earlier. <laughs> the, ah! It's just not always like that. Again, if you go back to my home birth where I had a completely like natural, no medication birth, I was like, wait, I'm 10 centimeters? Like I was completely calm. And yeah, yes, I there was times. confused. <laughs> Cause they checked her and she'd like be at fully 10 centimeters and she'd have a contraction and she'd be like, oh wow. And then she'd be like, all right guys. And I'm just like, there were some screaming periods though. Like we're not that front. I just thought, that it was gonna be like one full scream and the baby was gonna pop like out. Like one scream start to finish, entire labor. Yeah. And then there's ah! the kid. And then the baby starts screaming and you're like, ah. <laughs> That's why my birth plan didn't go. <laughs> that was her birth plan. That's all that was written down. I was like the complete opposite of how everyone thinks you're supposed to be in labor because you're supposed to be yelling. You're supposed to be like cussing everyone out. You're supposed to be like slapping your husband in the face. Like that's like what you're supposed to do when you're in labor. That's your typical routine. That's my morning routine. No? <laughs> yeah, but I instead became extremely polite, which is confusing. I was like saying so many please and thank yous. It was so unnecessary. I was just using way too many manners. Does this mean you're gonna be nice to me while you're in labor? No. You're the one person I'm not gonna be nice to. I'm gonna have the midwife do that. I'm gonna be like, okay, thank you. Shut the fuck up, Alex. <laughs> Birth vlog coming out in like one to two months. The next one is something I really was not prepared for at all. And, and this is not like slamming hospital births at all because I know a lot of people think it like super against hospital births because I ended up doing a home birth and that's not the case. Fun fact, friend. I actually love hospitals. I don't know, I just felt like putting that in there. <laughs> I remember with my first son, I had a hospital birth. They told me that I was 10 centimeters and I was like, all right, start pushing. And she was like, wait, no, we have to wait for the doctor. Oh uh, yeah. And I was like, wait, wh what? Like I thought it was more of like an emergent situation where the baby had to come out now. I didn't know there was like a pause time. Yeah, I just know that like I reached a 10 and they were like, all right, we're just gonna have you like sit here because your doctor's at lunch. And I was like, give me something while you're at it. I was just sitting there, chilling on my phone, updating the gram, talking to the fam. And then bam. <laughs> and then, a baby. and then bam. <laughs> no, no, four hours later, bam, a baby. <laughs> so yeah, love that for me. Why'd you do that? I just don't understand why we would do that. <laughs> Why did you do that? Do you know what she just did? She ruined my career. <laughs> I accidentally deleted the Can you undo? Months. How do you undo? <laughs> <laughs> I did it! 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 Is that a thing? Yeah, you shake it! I didn't know that. Yeah, and then it says undo typing. You press undo. <laughs> We're back in business, baby. My dad works in tech. My husband does and I used to and I didn't know that. The next one is cramping while giving a birth. And that is a thing and it freaking hurts. I had a whole on leg, a whole on, I had a whole <laughs> leg cramp. I'm like getting so worked up thinking she about this because it's in pain. I'm not Have in Have you ever shown this footage? No, I haven't. Rude. But I had a whole leg cramp while I was like trying to birth the child out of my vagina and it it was bad. It was like, I'm going down! And I yeah, got no, She was going down and no one could figure out what the hell was going on. Oh, because I had a water birth for those that <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that was a bitch. And then my best friend also had that happen and I've talked to like other girls that have also had that happen. So like, could happen to you. 
eat a lot of ba 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 bananas. Bananas. Before. Bananas. I couldn't say that because I'm still worked up about the leg cramps. <laughs> I'm so upset about it. Eat your bananas. But honestly, it, I mean, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day because you're you're just using so many muscles and you're clutching so hard. Eat fight your fucking bananas. Fight back. Don't listen to her. <laughs> just do it. The next one is Megan's Forte. Um, it is pushing for hours. Oh, oh, oh. Mm, yes. A lot of people don't really think about the different stages of labor and, and they're very clearly separated. So you have like your contractions, which are dilating you to a 10. Once you reach a 10, you have your pushing and then you have your delivery of the placenta. But, and baby. um, pushing, baby, and placenta. It's all one. A lot of people just kind of think of the whole like push, push, and you like push a couple times and then there's a baby there, but sometimes it can take hours. But I pushed for like three hours and that's literally three hours of just bearing down as hard as you can like as hard as you can every like 10 seconds for three hours straight so that's that was fun oh and this next one guys you are not prepared i'm never prepared because you don't give me enough time to read the list you just go and then i'm like what is she trying to say get ready for it get ready <laughs> swollen vagina ah uh, the old swollen badge. You <laughs> love to scary. see it. <laughs> you don't. You really don't. Especially after you birth a child and like the entire pregnancy, you're like, oh my god, is my vagina gonna be fucked after this? And then you see a swollen vagina and you're like, fuck! And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's pretty fun. <laughs> my vagina, oh, to be as explicit as possible, it looked like balls. Pair of balls. Two balls, so big old sack. With my first, not my second, for some reason, which I don't understand that. It was very scary, and it went down, I would say, probably about like three or four hours after birth. Like, it was there for a while, and it was scary. I don't know, with August, it just wasn't like that. Maybe my vagina was like, ha, been there, done that. Three to four hours? Yeah, I had, I, I was like, ha! Ah! I remember- Keep looking! I remember taking a shower at home, so this was at least three days postpartum, and I was given, given myself the old washeroo, and my hand went a little too close to there, felt it, and instantly just like... It was scary. I got really upset by it, because I was like, there is a ball sack down there. Three days. <laughs> and that's the thing, you guys! <laughs> no, but really, that was the last one, and yeah, so if you were pregnant and like we just scared the shit out of you, I definitely am sorry. For sure worth it. But like, you just gotta go yeah, through Yeah, just out. think about the fact that like, this all happened to us, and she did it again, and I'm about to do it again. So like, you get over it. You forget. <laughs> and then You like, forgive and forget. <laughs> I'm not forgiving. <laughs> you don't forgive, but you forget. You forget. But yeah, guys, I hope you like this video. Definitely go check out Megan's channel. She is going to have the other part of the video and just a lot of other content there as well. Not to mention, she's going to be giving birth here in like two months. Home water birth. Stay tuned. Notifications I'm on. Have I'm balls. I'm not done talking, Megan. Trying to hype you up here, and you're just like interrupting, and mm. I'm getting really mm. fucking pissed. Go subscribe. Go follow. Channel. Shut the fuck up. Swipe up. <laughs> Have a great one, guys. Bye.